Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now, we have seen the different types of form controls that are available in the form we have seen. So these are no normal native form elements. We can say we can say that one as native form controls. Now in the now next in this one, so let's try to see the actual buttons. So in the previous video, we have learned about the radio buttons, the checkable items that radio button. We know that this is called as a radio button, but it is not actually a radio button. So just we are talking, just we call it as in the name itself is a radio button. So now we'll try to see the different types of buttons that are supported here in the HTML. Let's try to see it. There are normally the three types of buttons will be there, which are supported in the HTML form elements. So first one is a submit button. Second one is a reset button. And the third one is a normal button. So these are the three types of buttons that are available in the HTML. Let's try to see what are the three types of buttons actually does. First one is the submit button. Now here, if you try to see for the input element, if you want to, if you want to try to submit a form here, if you want to try to submit a form to the server, you want to submit it. So normally we use this submit button. So let's try to use this submit button. Now here, if you try to use input type is equal to, we have an option like submit. And this is the submit button. So now the type attribute when you use this submit automatically you will be able to see a submit button here. If you don't mention the value of this button, it will take as a submit query. Now if you try to mention the value means it will take the button name as this submit the whatever the value you want, you it will try to submit it submit form. Now if you see here the but name of the button has been changed to submit form. And now if you try to submit this form, so now when I'm trying to submit this form here, we are able to see the values that are being sent, whatever the form form controls are there with that name, uh, with the name attribute. So the name and the value name and the value it has been sent. For example, let's try to say we will have a name attribute for this one as submit. Now what will happen? Let's try to see. Now if I try to submit it. Now you will be able to see the submit is equal to submit form. So that means the button also acts as an input element. Whenever the user clicks on this button, the button name with its value has been sent to the form also. So you need to understand this one. So the input type is equal to submit value is equal to submit form. Submit will try to send the value. You will be able to see another type of button, something like button element. Okay. So button element. So this both does one and the same only. For example, let's try to see that I am not using this button. Okay. I'm using this button element and I'm using the submit form. So this type of notation and the input type is equal to submit. This, this type of notation is one and the same. If you want, you can also mention the type, which is something like type is equal to submit reset or button. <clears throat> if you don't mention it, default it is a submit only. For example, now if I try to submit it, if I try to refresh and if I try to submit it, so now it is it is doing one and the same. So here if I try to use the email ID and all those things, see now it is trying to submit it. Now the button which doesn't have any type or anything, by default it is a submit for submit button. But for a, for input you will be mentioning if you want to make it as submit, we need to we need to mention the type attribute, the value as submit. So these both are one and the same. Then what is the difference between this input type is equal to submit and button submit? If we try to see both the input submits looks one and the same only. For example, if I try to submit this form, we are able to get it. And if I try to submit this form, so I am not able to send it. Now let's now, now also if you try to see when I am trying to submit this button, okay, it which is having a name of uh, submit and a value of submit form. If I try to click on this one, we are able to send the value that one whichever the button has been clicked but whereas i am i am clicking on the submit form which is of type button element if i am clicking the value is not going to send why because the clickable value the clickable element only it will try to send it so that is the thing you need to understand now here we are having the two submit buttons so that means the submit button whichever is clicked only it will try to go if you want to send this value means for example if i try to click on this button so we are not sending any value right this button value we are not trying to send why because this doesn't have a name attribute and also the value attribute if you try to add a name attribute something like uh, submit and the value is equal to xyz means 
now this value will be sent here if i try to see see submit is equal to xyz if i try to submit this form so here we are able to see submit submit form so by sending the value we can able to realize that which submit button has been clicked so that in the server side you can do the appropriate actions for this one so this is the uh, this is how the input and the button be buttons behave so these both behaves one and the same only but the main difference between this one is so if you mention the button by default this button is a submit button right but the main difference between those two things between these two buttons is the second button the button element can be used to for doing the styling purpose so for styling purpose we can use this button whereas this submit input type is called submit this will only submit the button value as the plain text format only for example let's say that submit form we are having so these are the two buttons we are having now i want to make this form form word bold so here what i can do is here i can use the strong element here okay i can use this strong element so that if you try to see the observe the output the form uh, the form word is bold whereas in this input type is equal to submit button we cannot bo we cannot bold the we cannot use the html format and styling format we cannot use it why because it is in the value attribute whereas in the button so it is the, it is as a part of the content right so this input element is an something like empty elements what we have learned it whereas the content is nothing but the for this empty element the content is nothing but the value attribute whereas for this uh, button element the content which is existing so that you can use the, your uh, appropriate styling elements and all those things to give the styling for the content in the button so that is the only difference between this input type is equal submit and also the button element so in the same scenario so we have also another type of button that is nothing but reset button so what is the use of this reset button if i try to use this input type is equal to reset and if you want to use this one reset form i can use this reset form so this will not try to submit anything to the server so reset form if you want to use you can use the name attribute also now if i try to see the output now here whatever the values i have uh, i am writing the input form and now here i have selected the soup and pizza whatever the thing i want i have selected it here we already learned in the previous session that whenever you select the radio button so we cannot uncheck this one so whenever we check this radio button means we cannot uncheck this uh, radio button whereas the checkbox button we can check it and uncheck it so in order uh, so we we can only uncheck this radio button until and unless we can submit the form or otherwise resetting the form so resetting the form can be done using this reset form for example if i click here automatically whatever the values that we have and that the user has entered automatically the values enter thing will be resetted so this is the use of this reset form so input type is equal to reset will reset the form to its original location how the uh, form will be present at the time of loading we can also use the button element uh, scenario also something like button okay so here you will need to use the type is equal to reset and here you can use the reset form in the same scenario if you want to style that a button uh, uh, value means you can use this uh, button button element in order to style the content or otherwise if you don't want means you can use this input type is equal to reset both are one and the same both behaves the same scenario only and the last type of button that is existing in our uh, uh, form elements is i will try to use the p that is nothing but a normal button so if you try to use input type is equal to button normal button if i try to use it so what will happen here so if i try to use this input type is equal to button if i refresh this one so not normally we don't have any values so normally we used to have submit query for the submit button but here it will not have any value now if you want to give normally you can give button now what this button will do is so this doesn't do any action so this is just for uh, button so if you want to show the button and you can use the javascript methodology functionality so by clicking on this button anything need to work means so like that it will do so in the form it will not do anything so button is just a, like a dummy button which is used for the clicking purpose and submit button will submit the form reset uh, button will reset the form and button is just a button it is useful for a normal thing and uh, and if you want to use this what i can say button element you can have this button element button and you need to mention it as type is equal to button okay or otherwise in the form if you mention if you don't mention type means 
it will be a reset uh, sorry submit button and here in the same scenario so here the text is it is an empty element input you cannot find it it will take the value as a plain text whereas here you can use the content you can use the element for styling purpose and here this button and this button is one and the same only so these are the different types of form element buttons present in the um, what i can say present in the forms apart from these buttons we can also have an image button in the form thing so why, what is this image button image button also the same thing uh, does what the input type is called submit button behaves so for example if you want to have an image instead of having a button if, if you want to have if you want to show the image instead of having a button and when the user clicks on that image we need to submit the form so in that scenario we can use this input type is equal to image attribute so that that scenario so that it what is that what will it, that will look like is it will look like just like an image whereas for the instead of having the image the instead of having the functionality of the image when you click on that image it will try to submit the form let's try to see it so here i am having a input type is equal to image i can use this input type is equal to image and it's the same attributes we whatever the img attributes we will be having the same attributes it will have for this one also source i can use this source thing let's try to use this minion underscore small okay so now if you try to see the output here i am able to see image it is nothing but not an image so this is the image button if i try to click on this one it will try to submit the form okay so it will try to submit the form so if i am trying to click here if i remove these all the things now if i click on this one it will try to submit the form see it is trying to submit the form now you may be having a doubt that so now input type is equal to submit when we click on that submit button so we are trying we will try we are sending a value that is nothing but name and the value so when i am trying to click on this image so what are the values that will be sent to this one so for example if i have a, a name is equal to image and the value is equal to something like image so now image is equal to image will, will it send this value so it will not send like that so the values what are the values it will be sent is nothing but the coordinates the x and y coordinates of this image so where it is present in the window x and y coordinates that is nothing but upper left corner of this image the coordinates it will be sent as x and y coordinates and here what is this image dot x is nothing but the name what you have mentioned it here the name what you mention it here for example if i try to mention it as leela so now the values when you click on this image the values will be sent in a such a way that leela dot x and then the leela dot y coordinates it will be sent if you click on this image now see the coordinate sent is the leela dot x and the leela dot y if you click on the submit submit is equal to submit form the name and value of that button it will be sent whereas for this image button so if you are trying to click on this image button which will submit the form it will send x axis and y axis of the image button where it is located along with its name something like name dot name dot x and name dot y so this is these are the different types of buttons that are used to submit the form that are present in the form controls these are the native form controls that are present in the for web forms so we have learned about the submit form we have learned about the reset form which will reset the form and also a button normal button which doesn't do anything so it is used for the clickable purpose in the javascript if you want to use we can use it and the last one is the image button which takes the image and all the attributes that are supported for this one so whatever the image attribute supported for the for the img tag so this input type is equal to image also sub also supported along with its input type attributes also okay and here that is uh, and here when you are trying to submit the image form means image button means so now when you are trying to click on this image button so while submitting the form it will it will send the x and y axis of this coordinates of this image it will try to send it instead of submit submitting the name and value it will try to send the x and y axis of the x and y coordinates of this image that is nothing but upper left corner of that image hope you understood about these different types of actual buttons present in the forms if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you